I'm going to go ahead and call to order the May 8th meeting of public affairs. And thank you all for uh, waiting it out. Um, good evening again. Um, item one, uh, receipt of the reports for April. Um, does any of the staff have any highlights that they want to uh, make at this time to, to your reports? Madam Chairman? I'm looking. Yes. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Commissioner. I, I wanted to ask of a, a couple of the reporters in particular: um, Park Maintenance, uh, Parks and Rec, and then also Public Information Officer. Um, from uh, from part uh, from Property Maintenance, uh, I'd like to see some more detailed reporting on the pools and the status of the various things that we're waiting that can be improved, so that we're not going to be surprised by anything. I know that in Alan's report, uh, it, it covers off, um, you know, single lines for both the Glenside and the Conklin pool. And I think it's important that the level of detail on some of the other categories is pretty explicit. And I'd like to get a little more detail about the, the one, two or three elements that are still in need of attention, Alan. And it's, it's not a complaint as much as just saying, you know, your reports are pretty extensive. And then there's a one line thing, and I know you're spending a lot of your time on the pools, but I think we'd like to see, is there anything that's going to, you know, create a delay? So I, if you want to answer that, that's fine. And, and then I'll go on to pub, Parks and Rec and the public information. So go ahead. Mr. Brown, if good. you want to go ahead, good. please. Yeah, sorry. Trying to find a mute button. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, yes. Commissioner Zygmunt, I do agree. Um, apologies for the lack of detail of the report. Um, it's just been a really busy time, and I knew that I was going to come on here. And um, I talked to a, a township manager, Allison Elliott, earlier today, and um, she she asked if I would be, <laughs> I would make sure I would be on here because she knew you all would have some um, some questions. But again, apologies for the lack of detail um, in this month's report. Um, as okay. far as the update, no. I mean, if you guys are okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you now. That's fine. Um, as far as the update, where we are with the pool, um, we have had all of the repairs done at Conklin Pool from the com from the company that we contracted with. Um, they are finished. Everything is done. Um, they are just waiting for us to fill, and then they will be on site to do the initial startup. Um, so they are ready for that. So that's that's looking good. Um, as far as Glenside Pool, I know that opening date comes before Conklin. Uh, we were over there today. Um, I was I was tempted to have a, a photo that I took as my background um, for today's meeting, but I, was, I, I just said I'll save that for later. Uh, we started power washing the main pool um, mm -hmm. along with the help of Public Works. We had four guys over there today. We had three power washers going. We are at about 95%. Um, finished power wash in that pool will be done tomorrow as well as the baby pool. Um, we have the paint on site. We'll start painting as soon as we get some good weather. I know it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So that's looking like, <clears throat> excuse me, Monday or Tuesday at the latest, we'll start painting. Um, the painting usually takes about a day and a half to two days. We'll let that dry for about two days. So we're on schedule to start filling next Friday at Glenside Pool. Um, that takes about two days to fill completely. So Monday, we'll be there all weekend just to monitor and make sure everything goes well. But Monday, that pool should be completely filled. And then we can start balancing. And we are on schedule, barring any catastrophic, which we're not, you know, we're not foreseeing. Everything looks good. Um, we are on schedule for opening day at Glenside. And as far as Conklin, um, we have started to power wash that pool. As soon as we're finished Glenside, all of the power washers will go back to Conklin. Uh, we'll start painting that pool once that's completely power washed, cleaned and prepped and ready to go, uh, which repairs are being made to, to them as, you know, today and as well as for, for some time. So we are working both pools and if everything goes as planned and it looks like we are on schedule, um, both pools should open. Uh, both pools will open um, at on time this year. So, thank you. And very again, much. 
No problem. And again, apologies for the, the brief description. In the, no in the need. We, we figured just... we'd get the update okay. here. Uh, yes. Uh, Thanks. I'm manager. Sure. Uh, I just want to add, um, Alan, Public Works, and the rest of the team have been spending a lot of time at the polls this year, um, not, overseeing, not only overseeing the uh, repairs, but also repairing the, the gutter blocks and, and um, constructing snack stands, which will be a new feature this year. Right. Right. So we're really excited about that. Um, I have heard that we are on track with hiring our lifeguards and summer staff. Uh, we have a lot of people who are returning, which is really good news. So uh, we are on track for for opening uh, this year, which is really exciting. And I, I know we had some drama last year, but it'll be a drama free open this year. And I think uh, is Ms. Rebitz on the call because uh, maybe she can give us the update too on the registration for for the. You know, I don't see her on. She may not be on tonight. Okay. Yeah, I know we have been um, having a good registration traffic, though. I can say that. I don't know what the numbers are, but they have been good. Okay. Can we also get an update on the um, the hiring uh, of uh, staff? Because I know that's a, a major issue uh, in particular for getting the pools open, ready, and fully functioning. Yeah, we are we are on track for, for hiring our um, summer staff, um, both for uh, the pools and uh, camp. We, like I said, we had a, a lot of returning staff, uh, so okay. we are just backfilling them. Great. Thank you. Um, one thing uh, I wanted to add uh, to the staff reports, wanted to thank uh, uh, Parks and Rec uh, and all everyone who participated uh, actually in getting the election day set up across the township and also for the Arbor Day uh, celebration. Actually, there were uh, staff from all, all the departments there, so thank you. Um, I have to ask about the snake Wrangler that appeared in the report. Who can tell me what that snake wrangler is? Um, Alan, I, go ahead. Yeah, I can kind of. <laughs> so um, at, at Glenside mainly, um, since we're right by the creek, we have um, quite a few snakes. We have quite a few snakes that um, enter our filter room and you know, inside of the hall and different things like that. So um, I guess recently, uh, last year we, and maybe the year before as well, um, we had hired a, a person to come and remove the snakes, um, which I'll say that I saw him more up, more than I would like to, but um, <laughs> every time he came, he did his job very well and um, he removed whatever it was, whether a snake um, from where wherever on the property so um he he we like him our lifeguards like him and i sure i'm sure if our if our residents knew they would <laughs> give him a, a big round of applause as well well you can pass it along i think we're all in favor of uh that positive uh feedback so alan does he use a flute and a wicker basket <laughs> it's a lot more right. entertaining he uses his bare hands oh god all right. Any, anybody else on the board uh, comments on, on those reports? I'll take a motion to receive. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item number two, uh, receipt of the committee meeting minutes. Uh, we have historical commission, the I can, oh, uh, no, we don't. Uh, and uh, the civil rights task force. Um, any comments on those uh, minutes? Uh, I will just mention that, um, again, the Civil Rights Task Force meeting, uh, we, we uh, met with the NAACP, and they are seeking members. So um, I, please uh, look into that. I think they meet the third Monday evening of the month, and uh, they have a website presence. So, or you can talk to Will Taylor or um, um, Bill England, and, and they'll I'll plug you in as well. All right. I'll take a motion to receive those committee minutes. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 As for the staff meeting minutes from April 24th, any questions rising from those? Okay, I'll move receipt. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you to Justin. 
Steve Bardinas, uh, uh, who's been waiting for his presentation, or at least to be introduced, from uh, CTF Watershed. Uh, you're the new executive director, um, uh, filling the shoes of Julie Slavitt, who's been there for almost forever, it feels, certainly for the tenure that uh, uh, most of us have been on this board and then some. So welcome. Uh, we're glad to meet you. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Well, thank you very much, Chairman, uh, Chairperson Rappaport and, and commissioners and, and Cheltenham residents. Uh, I, I really appreciate having a little bit of time on this this agenda today. My name is Justin DeBerdinas. I am the new executive director of the TTF Watershed Partnership. Uh, as, as our chairwoman just shared, I am filling the shoes of Julie Slavitt, who over the last 12 plus years, 13 years, I think, has built TTF into the organization that it's become. For those of you who aren't familiar with us and our work, we're a nonprofit organization committed to supporting and stewarding the Tucani Creek and its headwaters and tributary streams that form in Montgomery County that meet in Cheltenham and make that kind of iconic natural land space that um, I think is, is a hallmark of great communities. To have great public parks that are well-maintained, well-stewarded, to have creeks and streams, these are the kind of features that not just support property values, but make people choose to live in a community. Great parks, great waterways are a hallmark of great communities. Uh, TTF is a nonprofit partner of the townships, municipalities, and communities that make up the Tucani Creek watershed. We are an organization that raises, at this point, millions of dollars to support green stormwater projects, public space improvements, to bring programming, to make these public spaces dynamic, vibrant, full of great activities for children and families. Um, we are developing the operational muscle that I believe will make us even a higher value partner in the maintenance and management of invasive species, of replanting native riparian edges on our creek, and really making these spaces perform at an incredibly high level. Uh, I'm so thrilled to be leading TTF into this new chapter and in what I hope will be a growing and enrich partnership with the township of Cheltenham. I, I say this everywhere I go, the keystone of this watershed is Cheltenham. This is where the streams and the creeks merge to create that kind of public space at the Tucani Creek Parkway that people can really understand the need and the value of environmental protection. We do work in the headwaters so that we can succeed in places like the Tucani Creek Parkway. I think this is the mission statement of the work we do. We see it on the ground in Cheltenham. I am incredibly appreciative of the contributions that all of our townships and municipalities make, and certainly the contribution that Cheltenham makes. I know that our townships are stretched to take care of all the aging infrastructure, to meet the needs of, of, of changing demographics, to meet the needs of these communities. And we you know, are incredibly grateful for the contribution and the faith that Cheltenham and the other townships put into our organization. I'm committed to being the best partner possible. Uh, I believe that we will only succeed in like lockstep hand in hand partnership with these commissioners and with these communities that are represented on this call today. I hope that I can be a part and that this organization can be a part of your visions to really achieve where you're trying to go in public space, where you're trying to go in dealing with flooding conditions um, and, and stormwater management, where you're trying to go with natural lands and ecology. TTF wants to go there with you. Uh, this organization over the time that Julie uh, has stewarded it has built really deep, strong and trusting relationships with the important organizations, state organizations, federal organizations that fund this kind of work. Uh, I want us to be matching and leveraging that investment you make in us by getting out there to raise money for the goals of this township. I want this organization on the ground with your parks and rec department, with the folks who are working with stormwater and natural lands to be a value added partner in everything you do. So uh, I, I wanna thank you uh, chairwoman for this opportunity to introduce ourselves. I wanna thank the commissioners for giving us this time. And I just wanna know, let you to know that in this next chapter, TTF is here to ride shotgun with Cheltenham Township to make great things happen on the ground. So uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited. You know, one thing that's been exciting, I actually walked the whole length of the Tookney Creek in Cheltenham on Friday. Just 
there are not a lot of townships that have the cultural diversity, income diversity that Cheltenham has. It is, this is a special place. It hasn't been a place that I've worked before, um, but I'm falling in love with it. And I say that honestly, I'm putting a lot of hours in on the ground. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm just excited to be a part of the team here to make great things happen in Cheltenham. So thank you again for the time. Happy to answer any questions from the thank you or anyone else. Thank you and your enthusiasm uh, and your your speedy enumeration of the many <laughs> assets that you can uh, help partner with us. Uh, it's palpable and we appreciate that. Uh, I'll listen to uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, uh, Commissioner Armand, go ahead. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, and, and thank you, Justin, for your presentation. Uh, you, you know, T TTF and, and Sheltonham Township have a have a long history of, uh, of partnership. Uh, but I think uh, at, you're here at a at a critical moment. And I think you're, uh, as Commissioner Rappaport mentioned, your enthusiasm, which is infectious uh, uh, and and your commitment. Uh, to the township is uh, is really very much appreciated. I think um, as we look forward, not only with stormwater as a general matter um, and uh, and our parks, but also in our facilities planning, um, the the partnership with TTF uh, and others, right? Not not only new partnerships with other organizations, but leveraging our longstanding partnerships is just so critical. And um, your organization's uh, commitment uh, and your enthusiasm on behalf of Sheltonham in terms of our public spaces, our recreational spaces, our uh, uh, stormwater uh, endeavors, uh, our uh, trail systems, all of these are really great opportunities for us to really work together. And I look forward to doing that with you. And um, honestly, um, I, I want to encourage our um, administration and leadership to um, uh, continue the, the good work that they've done in the past, but, but let's double down. Let's um, work on this uh, partnership uh, as we develop other partnerships to make sure that we are um, uh, getting uh, as much as we can through uh, through you all and through the opportunities that are out there. So, Justin, really great to meet you uh, again. We, we've actually met before, uh, but good good to meet you on this meeting. And uh, I know I uh, and uh, my colleagues really look forward to working with you. So, thank you. Thank thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner Brockington. Go ahead. You're on mute. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Justin. Thank you for getting on the meeting. Um, I'm going to go right to what my request is for you. I would love, um, at one point, um, TTF did a cleanup day along um, Parkview and different areas. And I want you to reach out to me. I want to do a cleanup day um, along Tookum Creek Parkway um, to get the residents out there. Uh, we'll get public works to give us some gloves and bags and things like that but I would have coordinated with TTF. So please reach out to me because I have some areas in the township, at least on my ward, that I wanna use TTF, use what you guys do with what my residents are asking. Hey, we wanna do a cleanup day, but I want to do it and I wanna partner with TTF in doing that. So please reach out to me so we can start coordinating uh, a cleanup day. Commissioner Brockerton, consider it done. You'll be hearing from me tomorrow on that. And I'll just say, I had an eye on all that knotweed on, on, on the <laughs> around the creek. Oh my goodness, guys! Uh, you know we yeah. are in we are in the um, in the process of purchasing some large format equipment specifically designed to be able to mow that stuff down at speed. Sort of large format riding brush mower. I, I'd love to be able to bring those assets to bear in the township, pick some areas of yeah. focus, and really get into a maintenance plan where we can support you. That that would be well, my. You know. Um, I just want to get, I mean, our residents, they, they go out and I do it from time to time. We just go out with our bags and we just pick up the trash. But yeah. I want to coordinate it to do a Saturday when we go out and we kind of clean an area up in the township. So please reach out to me so we can get that started. Well, you'll you'll, Thank you'll you, hear sir. from me tomorrow, Commissioner. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I'll, I'll just throw out that uh, TTF has always helped us, almost always on, on Earth Day. Uh, we've, we've had many cleanups along there. 
uh, not mm -hmm. not the uh, not weed, but the the uh, litter stuff. Just the litter, so, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. littering. Yes. So that's, they, that's been about. an annual kind of thing, and and in other places in the township as well. Yeah. So thank we you. Appreciate Justin. that. Thank uh, you, Commissioner Madam Chair. Chirica. Yeah, I'll keep this very short. Uh, Justin, welcome. Uh, we met before over at uh, Abington Club, so it was great to see you. Thank you for being in the meeting today. And I just really wanted to reiterate uh, what our uh, our board uh, president said about uh, really doubling down uh, together uh, with our staff here at Cheltenham Township and you. I think there are many opportunities uh, that TTF can that we can rely on TTF to improve our uh, our township and our communities. And I, I really want to just you know, reiterate what um, Commissioner Araman said about that and ensure that uh, we can build an even stronger relationship with TTF moving forward. Music to my ears, uh, Commissioner. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. So this is the first of many, many sessions we'll have together. We're looking forward. Thanks so much. If well, thank you for else? the time on this agenda today, Chairwoman. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, we'll move on uh, in public affairs to item number five with the report from the Friends of Curtis Arboretum. And I'll ask Donna Ray to come forward. Um, first, I've got to thank you guys all for the garden party. Um, I know it was a fundraiser. Looking forward to hearing a little bit about that. But you did a magnificent job. Uh, so and people are already waiting for the next the next <laughs> week, so. Yes. Go ahead, Fantastic. Donna. Thank you, Anne. Um, can everyone see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, great. I never know which screen is going to show up with what on it. So thank you. Um, four minutes presentation on what we're doing. It does say that it's a quarterly report. We don't usually give reports that often. So I'd ask that um, in the minutes it says maybe periodic report. Um, <laughs> because we don't have that much news for you guys, but we're working hard. Um, for those of you who are new um, to this call, to this forum, um, we are a friends group. The township still owns, maintains the property and Jeffrey Miller um, and uh, their uh, landscapers maintain the property. But our goal is to um, add some assets in to improve um, the park for everyone to enjoy. Um, stormwater management, we've worked a lot with the TTF, um, the ecosystem overall, the historic elements, and just the community. And I think that's what um, the garden party really um, did for us was, um, it was our first formal event. We've had lots of cleanups and, and volunteer days and uh, uh, war memorial restorations, but this was uh, for social and fundraising and um, just to be, for people to be aware of um, both the friends of Curtis, but also the beautiful asset we have in the music hall. Here's a picture from during the garden party. We had um, over a hundred attendees, most of them from Cheltenham. Um, we had local sponsors that we always appreciate. Um, and in the course of this, a lot of people who couldn't come said, oh, I'd love to donate or I'd like to be on your mailing list or we just it was a great way for people to have more news to share um, about the organization. Um, and uh, shout out to uh, Commissioners Brockington, Chirico, Rappaport and uh, Nicole Nelson was there as well. Uh, and there may have been more. So thank you for your community support. Um, the main uh, bulk of our volunteer hours continues to be um, planting. And uh, if Justin is still on the line, I'd say the next part of, of your watershed you should look at is Rock Creek because this lower picture here, um, all of Rock Creek on both sides, we've removed and we're maintaining um, knotweed and other invasive plants. And we have planted trees and shrubs. Um, this is the fifth year now. And um, uh, we got 500 trees last year and um, kept them all alive uh, one way or the other by replacing them or, or not. But um, we had some dry spells 
And so just to give you an idea of the amount of work that goes into uh, keeping our riparian buffer along all of Rock Creek, um, some of the trees need one gallon, some need six gallons uh, of water every week and that, that there isn't rain. And each gallon caught, um, is eight pounds. So that's between eight and 48 pounds of water that goes to every one of those little tubes that you see um, on that picture on the lower right. Um, we've been clearing new sections beyond the riparian buffer. Um, now that the riparian buffer is established and we're maintaining it, we, we had some bandwidth actually um, because of the 1200 um, hours that went to various planning and clearing projects in 2023. Um, you can see this hillside is just above the dog park and um, it was full of knotweed and invasives. And we are um, doing the first pass at saving the canopy trees and preparing it for some of the treatment that we've given to the riparian buffer. Um, we are planning on adding signage to explain the work. We also work with, besides the TTF, we work with the Penn State Master Watershed Stewardships um, and uh, they have signage to explain riparian buffers and the benefits. Um, we are adding tree identification labels to keep track of our successes and uh, keep track of our inventory now that we have more than a thousand plants along the riparian buffer. And um, we, uh, our latest clearing was right by Lorimer Avenue and um, it, it could it could be a new entrance garden. So we're thinking about that too. Um, one, um, I'll, I'll create some suspense. We're, we're doing our usual tree tending and Aqua PA says, well, there really shouldn't be any trees over our sewer line. And um, so we panicked for a little bit, but then they were very nice and they met with us and they did a walk through along the, it's a major interceptor sewer that runs through the park and um, township staff came as well, um, Parks and Rec. Um, so thank you um, for all that uh, participation. And we came up with a plan. Um, and in the end, we only needed to remo uh, move 25 of the many plants that we have um, and uh, they should all be, they're all movable. Uh, there may be other big trees that need to come down as they make repairs, um, but we can cross that uh, bridge when we come to it. Um, so everything is good there. Uh, and uh, it's good to know that Aqua is doing that sort of um, monitoring to make sure that the um, sewer lines stay healthy and that we can still have a healthy riparian buffer. Um, the one area I'd want to bring um, attention to is ponds. Um, these ponds are decorative and not a watershed. And uh, as decorative ponds go, um, they all need to be maintained. And we did a study in 2022 and the ponds are really filling up since then. It's kind of an exponential curve at Pure Scientist. Um, so, um, we need a way to maintain these ponds, um, to make them maintain themselves. Um, there has been a new fountain installed, but given the amount of sediment, um, our experts say that that might not um, last very long. Um, I know the township is treating to prevent harmful algal blooms, but it would be nice if we didn't have to treat. And uh, there are certainly uh, lots of possibilities for mosquitoes because this whole area is not running. Um, and this sort of thing is really beyond the scope or budget of a friends group. We're still gonna be advocating, doing what we can. We have experts on our board that know the property really well that are, are giving free um, expert engineering advice. Um, but we'd love to have the township focusing on this as they're also focusing on Robinson Park. Um, and then I just wanted to say we have online donation and we've started a new program 
where um, you can be a member and you get a sticker for your car that shows your support. Um, and uh, so these are all the places that you can reach us if you have suggestions or questions or if you want other events um, or you want to sign up or you want to donate some money because you don't have time to donate the time that our, our fearless volunteers are donating. Any questions? Thank you very much for that report. I know you were trying to be as efficient as you could. Uh, any of my colleagues have any questions? Go ahead, Commissioner Chirico. Commissioner Rappaport, uh, I have a lot of questions, but we'll save them for another time. Maybe Donna, I could learn a lot from you um, and I'll, I'll reach out and, and maybe we could walk the, the park together. I just wanna thank you um, and everyone involved with Friends because you, I think what you do, are doing there is, is so critical to our community. Uh, it is the crown jewel of Cheltenham Township. Um, we love walking over there. Um, we, we're, I, I just cannot say enough wonderful things about the park and, and really what you are doing. So thank you so much for your uh, commitment to Curtis and um, also amazing um, party last week. We had such a great time. I really felt like it was one of my favorite nights um, that I've spent out in Cheltenham Township. So um, I hope you do more of this and kudos to you and everyone involved. And I'll, you'll be hearing from me soon and um, maybe we can walk the park and I can learn more about Curtis that I don't know. I, I'd welcome that. And I'd love that, um, you know, I feel like we're still relatively new um, doing more things, but we have so much energy that um, perhaps we can bring that to some of the other parks in the township. Yeah, it, it really is eye-opening what, what level of expertise and hands-on uh, energy is going into, into this friends group. Uh, uh, people who come every week for hours and hours to do the heavy lifting of uh, getting rid of the invasives and planting. And of course, our parks personnel are tremendously supportive, make it a joy to, to really, you know, you, you talk about a partnership uh, they've been very supportive. So uh, it, it is the ideal uh, setup with, with really committed professional volunteers and, uh, I, you know, and, and people who put in their hearts and, and our staff. So thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay. I'll give you one quick story. I was out there yesterday. I don't always um, participate in the weekly events, but um, because we have what I would call sticker bushes as a kid, multi-floor rows, um, I had been told by the TTF, you know, you never ask volunteers to do that. But our volunteers are so committed to just getting the whole job done that they have something called the root slayer that has teeth along the shovel. And they go after these multi-flora roses or whatever they need to go after in order to get them out of the way and keep uh, trees growing uh, to improve the community. Thank you. And, and then Bob Dominic's group comes over and collects them, gets rid yes. of them. Yes, Bob so. is wonderful. They, yeah. and, and the township is very supportive as well. So right. we appreciate all of that. Absolutely. All right, thank you very much. Um, I think we're ready to move on then to old business. Um, let me mention, first of all, there may be others with some old business. Um, uh, it's been brought to our attention from our uh, SEPTA volunteer experts that um, SEPTA really is planning to move on uh, uh, with the decision on their, on their bus revolution. And they've kind of ignored the second tier of our um, uh, of our correspondence with them, uh, such that although they haven't eliminated uh, the route, the the uh, twenty eight route, um, they did take away most of the most of the time. So they've have uh, stops. So uh, that that doesn't accomplish 
service. Um, so it's been requested that we uh, make one final effort uh, with our correspondence, both to uh, SEPTA and uh, I'll just uh, call it out. Mr. Sanders has given us all sorts of good contacts um, to reach out to, uh, saved us a lot of time. All we have to do is continue to urgently plead the case that we've already um, developed. Uh, so uh, I'll I'll ask if any of the commit my colleagues have any comments, questions about that. The, the, Madam right. Chair, yeah. The, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I see no reason why we couldn't um, lend another supportive letter on this important issue. Uh, I would suggest, I think we've done this in the past, but just to put a fine point on it, in addition to adding SEP, sending the letter to SEPTA, we should make sure it gets out to uh, uh, all of our, um, you know, state and and uh, and local uh, partners, representatives, et cetera, who, um, right, who right. also have um, as much, if not more, uh, ability to influence the decision uh, than we do. So right, and and we have a list of. Con I'm sorry. Who's trying to talk? Okay. Um. Yeah. We we. Uh, Mr. Sanders did give us a great list of uh, all the stakeholders that might be able to be influenced, and I think if we just uh, follow up with all of those, we'll be in good shape. Uh, Commissioner Lewis, and then um, maybe I'll ask Mr. Sanders if he has anything further. Go ahead, yeah, I'll just like to report out that uh, uh, our Senate office, Senator Haywood's office, continues to uh, diligently reach out to SEPTA uh, and express the need to uh, save the 28. Uh, they have, SEPTA has compromised. Uh, from their vantage point, instead of eliminating uh, the route, they uh, have reduced the number of trips and the the uh, time uh, in between uh, trips. Uh, but we continue to fight the fight, um, and I've been involved directly. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, I think I think the sense is that when you cut it in half. You're essentially giving just enough rope to hang the program. You're really not serving the ridership uh, in any meaningful way. And uh, it's just one step toward uh, full elimination. I think that's the fight we have to fight. So thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, their position is that we, we don't have the ridership. So again, we'll keep fighting. They do get uh, funding from the state. Um, right. So we do have some leverage and we'll see how far we can take it. And and the, the amount of ridership is also a function of uh, how convenient and how available it is. You can't you can't sign up for classes at Manor uh, and if you can't get to them. And so that's part of the gist of the argument of why why you can't can't have one one trip an hour and expect it to be effective. Um, so yeah, thank you for being um, part of that. Yes. Okay, um, Mr. Sanders, I don't know if you have something you'd like to add very briefly. Yes, thank you very much, Commissioner. Um, I, I appreciate uh, um, all of the uh, support that uh, uh, you and your colleagues uh, on the board have uh, continued to extend my um, firm belief that uh, uh, at this point the uh, problem can only be resolved uh, at a uh, political level. Um, I uh, uh, am encouraged to. Uh, uh, here, um, uh, Commissioner Lewis's uh, 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 affirmation that uh, Senator Haywood uh, continue to uh, press the issue. Uh, I have been working with uh, 
director, John Murray, the uh, of uh, college, uh, as well. um, he is uh, um, extremely upset over uh, uh, the decision to uh, cut uh, uh, the service in half uh, as uh, uh, you have uh, just noted, Commissioner Rappaport, um, uh, cutting it in half is uh, ultimately as good as uh, eliminating the uh, uh, service altogether. Uh, um, the uh, 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 remaining uh, ridership will uh, uh, consist uh, entirely of. Uh, 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 passengers who uh, have absolutely no alternative. Uh, before we know it, the uh, SEPT will uh, uh, decide to uh, further, uh, uh, perhaps to a couple trips uh, in, in each direction during the uh, uh, morning and evening uh, peaks. And then step forward to eliminate the line altogether. Um, uh, the riders took a major hit uh, during the pandemic. Uh, it had, however, uh, 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 gradually but uh, steadily returned. And uh, uh, what, what we need from SEPT is a, uh, is a measure of patience. Uh, uh, if uh, if you had uh, followed the uh, 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 pieces that uh, SEPTA has most recently issued on the bus revolution, you'll see that uh, uh, in response to uh, uh, political uh, pressure, uh, it has uh, uh, restored uh, uh, several... Point of order, Madam Chairperson. I'm sorry, but I, I think we have the gist of the concerns that are being expressed, and I think we need to move on. And I think if there's any other discussion, it can come during Citizens Forum. But I, I believe we've gone, uh, we've been active, involved in Mr. Sanders' participation, has been valued and has, has given us insights. But I think this level okay, of detail I think you've made is inappropriate. Your point. All right, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sanders. Um, I think we'll go ahead and uh, I'll make a motion just to direct staff uh, to follow up, and, and I'll be in touch with some of the details. Um, anything else you, the commissioners want to add? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Any other old business for public affairs? My new business for public affairs, consider recommending the Board of Commissioners appoint the following members to the Township Citizens Committee at the May 15th, 2024 Board of Commissioners meeting. Jason Barnhold of Elkins Park to be a voting member on the Historical Commission and also move with thanks for his application. Uh, any comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other new business for public? Item force? for new business, Madam Chairperson. Go ahead. Not that I want to extend tonight's meeting, but um, the Economic Development Task Force has organized a business networking event. Um, the objective is to basically provide a small business meet up uh, for all the small businesses throughout the township. It's going to be held on May 29th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, the location is the Creekside Market and Tap. Uh, and there will be an opportunity for all the small business folks to share their concerns, questions, ideas, and to ask uh, three very significant uh, commissioners, Commissioner Brockington, Board Chairman, Board President, Commissioner Armin, and Troublemaker myself uh, to try and help to facilitate the functioning of the businesses 
and to short circuit some of the challenges that are there. So we're looking forward to both businesses, um, some of the property owners and people who have an interest in um, developing businesses to come to that forum. It's for all areas of the township. So I think they've done a great job to take this initiative and hopefully it will be productive and it's something that we can replicate uh, in different parts of the township to support each of the business communities. But this is for all the small businesses in the township. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, that's great. Uh, will staff be there as well to answer questions or uh, just the commissioners? I can't answer that. I hope staff is there. Unfortunately, I would have another commitment that evening. Um, I believe Megan said she'll be able to attend. Okay, hey, what, about, what about Henry attending? I think Henry's away, actually. Yeah, let's not let's not volunteer staff just yeah, yet. Right? Right. <laughs> it's it's an EDTF uh, yeah. sponsored uh, meeting, and uh, th they've invited three commissioners. Oh, I see. Know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, okay, Commissioner Lewis, go ahead. Dwight, you're muted. An excellent idea. How are they going to promote this? Do you know? Uh, they are promoting it through various, you know, online channels. They have a nice, they've created a brochure that they want to distribute in a lot of businesses. Um, and I believe they're going to ask uh, the township to post it since it is an economic development task force event. So, uh, you know, it, it is indeed get posted. It posted, the, the better. Yeah, it, it's on the township. It website. is. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other new business for public affairs? Okay, item seven, announcements. Go ahead, Commissioner Armin. Just one, uh, uh, Manager Elliott, would, would you provide information to the listening and uh, uh, viewing public about the May 22nd comprehensive plan meeting? Absolutely, yeah, that, um, that's actually one of the things I would like to talk about, um, yes. Um, on Wednesday, May 22nd, uh, between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. at Curtis Hall, uh, the township will be hosting a comprehensive plan open house. It's an open house, so come whatever time you want between five and eight to talk about uh, the themes and recommendations of our draft uh, comprehensive plan, and then weigh in on what you think the priority should be for uh, the comprehensive plan going forward. The comprehensive plan is uh, a document that the township uh, needs to update every five to 15, I think it's every 15 years, I'm sorry, um, 10 to 15. Yeah, sometimes it's a little longer. Um, and it, it kind of provides guidance for uh, land use in the township on, on how do we plan for zoning, how do we plan for economic development, for community facilities, um, and all the other things that go on in the housing and things like that. So um, it's a very important guiding document for the township. Um, the last iteration of the comprehensive plan uh, led to updates to our zoning ordinance and to our subdivision and land development ordinance, were, which were um, very important to the growth of the township. Uh, and this will perhaps uh, lead to additional changes to the zoning ordinance and other things that we do in the township. So we appreciate any your, guide, your advice and guidance and thoughts on this plan as we put it together and uh, get it ready for adoption. Thank you. And I'll add <clears throat> the format's gonna be, you know, different tables, different boards, and it will be interactive. You go read the information, you put a post-it on that kind of thing. And the other piece of it that's useful for the public to know is that the township works hand in hand with the county planning uh, group uh, on this. These are required actions through, through the state. Every municipality goes through uh, this process approximately every 10 years. So, um, I, and you may remember that about Two years ago, when this three years ago, when this kicked off, there was also a community wide survey that uh, that was uh, distributed really throughout the community. And so that's part of the input. And then this is another opportunity for more public input. 
the committee that's been doing it is also uh, consists of staff, volunteers, commissioners, and uh, and that's another way they get their input. So thank you very much for that announcement. Um, another announcement tomorrow night, um, the Historical Commission has its uh, annual historic preservation lecture and Edward Tone, the uh, director of Lin Linwood Hall um, Foundation, Restoration Foundation uh, will be uh, the lecturer. So that should be very interesting. It starts at 7.30 at Curtis Hall and uh, should be terrific. Okay, any other announcements? Citizens Forum for Public Affairs. Mr. George, go ahead. And you're on mute. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, segue from the previous meeting on safety. Uh, uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Alan Brown for staying on top of the issue that we're having with lights for the courts, uh, both the pickleball tennis side and uh, basketball skate park side, because uh, they all go through the same control panel. I know that he's actively working on that. And I'm, my request on this is simply um, as a segue from safety uh, to please keep that on the radar. This is to administration, not so much for the commissioners, uh, because it is a matter of safety with our uh, evenings running till eight o'clock uh, for under permit time, um, that presents some safety issues there. Um, also, there's a visibility issue from a security standpoint. Um, those two things together make it um, a high priority, at least at a high usage point in our season. Um, so thanks to Mr. Brown on that. And uh, please don't forget us. Um, the second thing I would... Uh, Add is a, a question really about what the township's uh, uh, approach is to restroom access at uh, Wall Park. Um, currently, I know that those restrooms are closed for public access, uh, but you know, with uh, 600 people plus and growing every day, uh, showing an interest in being in our township to uh, enjoy each other's company and uh, play this game, um, it's becoming a pretty big issue. Uh, and in every other location in our surrounding area where municipalities are uh, also hosting similar groups, uh, pretty much all of the ones I can think of have public restroom accessibility. Uh, and Cheltenham is a major exception in, in that respect. Wondering what, if anything, can be done to rectify that. Okay, thank you very much. You. Um, I don't know if staff is available to address that now or if you all want to get back to us on what the issues are there, uh, you know, perhaps at our next meeting. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, talk about it internally and get back to you on that. Okay, do we know... Because uh, I think I read in the report that the restrooms were opened in one of the parks already. This, so I, I just assumed they were opening in all the parks. I think it's that, the, the water was getting turned on to the restrooms. I'm not sure about um, staffing to get them open and closed every day. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So you'll you'll let us know maybe next week or okay. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Um, Mr. Sanders, go ahead. And you're on mute. Okay. Thank you very much, Commissioner. I uh, just want to uh, finish my last and final thought. Um, SEPTA is a uh, highly political agency uh, entity, uh, and uh, it is. Uh, uh, receptive to um, the uh, uh, highly receptive to the desires and preferences of elected officials. So um, I encourage uh, 
uh, uh, board to uh, uh, continue to uh, attempt to address uh, the issue at hand. And uh, incidentally, um, Dr. Perry uh, of Manor College uh, uh, has uh, asked me uh, to uh, spread the word that uh, uh, the college is looking for a, uh, a new um, public safety manager. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I uh, presumably a, a, a retired police officer or a uh, veteran. So um, uh, anybody who knows anybody uh, uh, meeting uh, uh, those uh, requirements, uh, uh, Please uh, um, um, get in touch with the college or, uh, okay. uh, or uh, with uh, Chief Slavin, to whom I have uh, uh, provided the job description, or to uh, Township Manager Elliot. Uh, she has. All right, we just don't want to. We just don't want to poach anybody from Cheltenham. No. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you, Mr. So Sanders. Much. Right. And and your your point about the political connection is not lost on us. We, yeah, we got okay. that. Thank I'm you sure you did. Okay. Good okay. night. Good night. Thank you. Um, any any other um, citizens forum for public affairs? I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. <laughs> okay. I'll say good night. Bye. 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 Bye.